aboard just a jolt here. So one of Mrs. Jolt's friends has got this ninky nonk or plinky plonk or whatever you call it. And it stopped working and I wanted to see if I could fix it. If we turn the plinky plonk over, we can see in the battery compartment there's a little bit of this rusty stuff. Now this brownie orangey rust is different to the usual battery corrosion that you find in battery trays. For that reason, using vinegar might help to loosen it up a little bit, but it won't fizz and react the same as in the other video. If the corrosion-y type stuff is a bluey or whitey type material, then when you pour an acidic thing onto it, it will neutralize because it's basic, it's an alkaline material. This stuff, however, is a little bit different. It's actually very stubborn and difficult to clean off. There is no fizzing taking place when I put vinegar on it using a Q-tip, or cotton bud is what we call it here in the UK. And to be honest, I don't fancy my chances of making any progress with it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. It's screwdriver time. Well, we've got all the screws out and everything's been fine. There was a little bit of solvent welding there that had to be dealt with or glue or something. I just put a flathead screwdriver in and leave it. But this ninky nonk, whatever it is, is completely solvent welded, which is stopping me from opening this up. I would like to formally ask all toy companies to quit solvent welding. <laughs> Suppose I could just do the sensible option and use a hacksaw blade. Seriously though, save yourselves a little bit of money. It doesn't make anyone's life any easier. And so for anyone who's interested, there are the internals of a pinky punk nonk. Stinky. Might have to epoxy that later to get it looking right again. Yeah, you can see the corrosion right there. That's no good. What I'm going to end up doing is swapping out this contact right here that's all kind of corroded. I think this might be a hail fire. I think that contact that might fit. So we have now desoldered this circuit board from this connector bit right here. I'm going to bend this up and it should just be a case then of pushing it out. Grab a pair of pliers. And we've bashed it with a screwdriver and out it came. Not a lot of chance of cleaning this up, but I have heard that if you leave them overnight in Coca-Cola or vinegar or something, it helps, so might try that. In the meantime, though, I'm just going to try and stick one of these through. Doop -doop 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 -ba. The singing helps, guys. The singing helps. Swayed a little bit more of this off. I'll come through now. See if that'll fit in there. Looks like it'll be perfect. There we go. What a fit. Flown off over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I wonder if we can flatten that out a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. All the way through. And there's a little bit poking out the end as well. The rest of this should be fairly straightforward. Just gonna bend this over there. There we go. I should be able to just go ahead and solder this red wire onto there. So wait, nice big blob there. I had a screwdriver here somewhere. I'm gonna chop down the end of that wire there. The road bit will probably come off super easily. There it goes. Some batteries in it. And that sounds like a good sound to me. I quite like that. Let's do it again. This is absolutely fantastic. I want one of these. I wonder what this does. Let's turn these things. Oh! It's time for a story. Listen to that. You hold on to those trousers, hold on to them. Oh my goodness, that's way more amusing than it should be. Like and subscribe if you hold on to your trousers. This is actually simpler to put back together than a Nerf gun. Here is a stinky donk and it came to us not working. Um, basically, you put batteries in it, nothing happened. The reason for that was because there was corrosion inside the battery tray. Not just regular alkaline battery corrosion, but actually rust corrosion from some kind of liquid or something getting in there. And it was so corroded that it simply couldn't be cleaned off. For that reason, I opened the whole thing up, I desoldered the battery tray, I took out the contact that was corroded, um, and I put in a fresh contact, which, which was absolutely fine. And as you can hear, it's now iggling, piggling, and doing everything it's meant to do. And yep, he loves it. And so, yep, yeah, hopefully whoever it belongs to should love it as well.